Women are allowed to hit you, but you should never hit them back. You're a man, you should have all the answers. But if you have all the answers, you're a narcissist. And if she leaves you after a six year long relationship, remember, she's just doing what's best for her. But if you leave her after six years, you're a scumbag. What's going on, y'all? Man, it's King Clef holding it down for the cool table, man. I'm right back at you. And today we're talking about something that's kind of interesting uh, to a degree. I don't even think it's new information, to be honest with you. I think at this point, uh, if you're in the man's sphere, if you're in the woman's sphere, you understand that there's a common theme that runs as far as the confusion of some messages that come from the opposite sex. And it's a real thing. You know, it's a real thing. Uh, some people can acknowledge it, some people do not. And that's where I think the friction comes and the friction lies. But it's beautiful when you can hear it from the horse's mouth. And I have this young lady that's actually saying it in a very comical way. So I want you to check it out. If you haven't seen it, here you go. Women are allowed to hit you, but you should never hit them back. You're a man, you should have all the answers. But if you have all the answers, you're a narcissist. And if she leaves you after a six year long relationship, remember, she's just doing what's best for her. But if you leave her after six years, you're a scumbag who obviously never cared. Make sure you're intelligent or women are going to look down on you. But women are always right, so they're going to look down on you anyway. Plus, if you're really smart, they're going to see you as arrogant. And be confident because confidence is sexy. But don't be cocky. Sleep with too many women and you're just a man who's afraid of commitment. But don't sleep with enough women and you're less desirable because of your inexperience. Accept women at their best and their worst. But change every negative aspect of yourself in order to prove your love. So yeah, you saw that, you heard that, and I'm going to tell you, man, there's no lies that <laughs> seem to be det detected uh, in this skit of hers. And I, and I really, you know, I, I think when you hear it from the horse's mouth that it actually brings a little bit more validation to it. It makes it uh, sit and marinate differently. Because it's coming from the source. And um, I think that's what makes it resonate. And I mean, the truth of the matter is to believe or to, or to pretend that women aren't confusing at many stages is ridiculous. And the fact that they can't acknowledge that. And, and, and many do. That's the, that's the point of the skit. Many do. Many women acknowledge that they bring confusion to the table with their emotions, but their emotions is a beautiful thing because they bring a, uh, a necessary flow that needs to be counterbalanced by logic, which is the man, right? So that's why the yin and the yang is so important. And that's why without the man, many times the emotions can go all over the place, bring back the confusion. And if you don't want to, see, if you don't really understand that point, I'll show you another example of this said confusion. Check it out. The way that men approach women in the South is also a huge difference that I noticed out there. I was in Houston, and this guy tried to talk to me. He's like, excuse me, ma'am, can I talk to you for a moment? I said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> and he's like, all right, well, you enjoy the rest of your evening, man. I said, oh my God, what a gentleman this one. <laughs> Maybe I jumped the gun. Maybe I should fuck him. Maybe I should. <laughs> He's a sweet guy. <laughs> Same scenario. Ben Stott, Brooklyn, where I live at. Excuse me, Ma, let me talk to you for a moment. Nah, I'm good. I didn't fuck you that bitch. <laughs> Stupid ass hoe. <laughs> Bro broke ass broad. <laughs> the more he kept going, the more accurate the shit got. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, God damn, who told this nigga my business? <laughs> So since he knew me so well, I ended up fucking head. And, uh... <laughs> the wildest part about that whole stand-up is that in the end, the guy that she said was the disrespectful one knew her so well that she ended up doing it, right? He knew exactly how to handle her, right? Maybe it's because she was giving off something that let him know exactly who she was. Uh, I digress. I, I say a lot of times that we can be our own hindrance. We can be our own blockage. We can get in our own way. And a lot of times, just because of the lack of ability to communicate exactly what it is we want and need 
and know how to stand on that instead of wavering like a willow in the wind. And many times that's how women's emotions can be. Up, down, left, right, all over the place. And that's why it needs to be directed with a little bit of counterbalance, like the logic that comes from a man. Hence the yin and the yang. The perfect fit to make the perfect shit sit and fit. It's very simple. We just made things more complex than it has to be, I think. Nonetheless, I really wanted to show that just to kind of show those two examples, man. Those are real two examples, uh, even though they're comical and even though they can be looked at as funny, man. Like I say, there's a lot of truth and just in uh, th 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 those, those perceptions or those outlooks are clear as day. And it's unfortunate because a lot of times it prohibits us from being able to get what we want and what we need. And we end up having to go through a lot of different things, sift through the bullshit to get to the good shit. You have to go through a lot of coals before you get to your diamond because of the direction you and the lack the direction you took and the lack of communication you gave along the way. Nonetheless, I wanted to bring my two cents in here, bring this to you guys' attention. I would love to hear what you guys think as well. And don't forget to, you know, like, share, and subscribe and do all those cool things. And I'll catch all y'all cool kids at the cool table next time. Deuces. I know in the comments.